Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this Monday VS Code Pro Tip, we're going to be talking about spelling. I'm a, a terrible speller. I have dyslexia. I have ADHD. And overall, I cannot spell to save my life. Uh, it has always been this way. So for me and many other people, some of the bugs we experience in our code are content bugs where we're just spelling a word incorrectly. Now, it's no fun to have that kind of thing in production. And since you, uh, like me, want to have your code and your projects looking as professional as possible, let's talk about spell checking in VS Code. Now, spell checking does not come by default within VS Code, but that's no problem. Uh, we can get it enabled easily enough via extensions. Now, if you just search for spell, the one that I like to use specifically as you can see right here, there it looks like there's an update, but it's a code spell checker. Now this has 4 million downloads. So this is a good bet, right? There's a lot of other, well, these are all add-ons, right? These are different languages for the same one. Um, there's some other spell checkers, like, you know, some of these are fine, but you can't really beat 4 million downloads and all these additional extensions. Now what's cool about spell checking in VS Code and why do I recommend this so much? Well, it does a good job of pulling words out of things like even camel case. You can see here that it recognizes that dark is a real word, but perp, not a real word. Um, so of course it, it does recognize that in camel case here, this is a different word from this. Now, what's neat about this extension as well is that you can add words to your dictionary. So by default, you're going to see these underlined and you can hover over it. It says unknown word from C spell. Okay. C spell, AKA code spell checker. So it's going to save your words here. And if I want to say, Hey, you know what? We use this word perp all over our code base. Let's go ahead and uh, add perp to our, our normal spell library. So that way it doesn't yell at me. Well, you can actually right click on this and say, um, add words to user settings or add words to workplace settings. So if perp is something that I want to exist within this entire code base, typically that's what I'm doing is I'm adding it to my workspace settings. And then you can see all of those blue underlines then go away. And you can also see that C spell has its little area right here. Um, so it says three spell three issues and spell check here, uh, for this particular file. So you can get a nice little overview down here about how many spelling errors you do have. Now I personally, uh, am always having this thing on. And if you want to see the words that have been added to your repo, you can always head to your VS code folder. And then inside of settings.json, every time you add a word, you can see C spell dot words. These are all of the uh, words that you can have. And uh, these are the words that are, are maybe not real words like PNPM or perp as we've just added. And it's going to then not recognize these as being misspelled words. Talinsky, that's one It always yells at me. It says, Talinsky is not a word. I said, um, yeah, I think it is. It's my name. Um, so as you can see, C spell or code spell checker, one of my favorite extensions, it saves me a ton of time constantly. You can add words to your workspace or to your user uh, settings ov overall. But most importantly, this thing's going to give you that Microsoft word style squiggle underneath any words that you've spelled incorrectly. So uh, cannot recommend this one enough. Check it out at code spell checker. See you in the next one. Peace.